Thank you very much indeed. Well, thank you. Hello. Welcome to uh, Countdown. It is Friday. TGIF may to you mean thank God it's Friday, but TGIF to me means this guy's in form. And here he is very much in form, our long-running champion, Chris Colesman. <laughs> well, it's been a marvellous week for Chris, hasn't it? 17 years of age, of course. Uh, bank clerk. Uh, nine GCSEs with seven A's and two B's, but uh, he's been the great champion so far. 61, 45, 51 and uh, 48 yesterday. So, Chris, uh, let's hope you can uh, end the week in style for your sake. But uh, I'm also supporting here this lovely lady that's come to try and knock you off your perch. So good luck to you, Kate Leckie. And here's Kate. She's from Smithton in Inverness. She's married with two sons and two grandchildren. She's the manager of a private nursing home. She also does lots of charity work and she's a member of the Sir Optimist, which, of course, uh, as many of you know, is a very worthy professional and business women's association. She loves Scrabble and Bingo and she enjoys knitting, but she says she hates housework. <laughs> However, today she'll be hoping to polish off and wipe the floor with our champions. So, welcome, Kate Leckie. And coming to a screen near you on Monday is this chap, Glyn Wigley from Chadwell Heath. And that's Glyn, and he'll be taking on Kate or Chris. Now, yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, our guardian of the dictionaries came up with two winning words. First, he came up with proofed, and then he proved that was no fluke with the eight-letter word noisiest, noisiest. Well, we've allowed him to come back to provide the voice of reason. And a lovely voice it is, too. It is that of Martin Jarvis. Thank you, Richard. Yes, I can mangle words as well as you, almost. You are the fly in the oatmeal. I was up at the crank of dawn, you know, so speak to me in words of one cylinder, will you? Home wasn't built in a day. Well, knock me down with a fender. Here's Susie Dent. <laughs> Look, if we'd have wanted Professor Stanley Unwood, we'd have asked him. <laughs> Hi, Carol. How are you? Welcome Hi. to Carol Vorderman. Thank you. Kate's a woman after my own heart. I hate housework too, Kate, so... Uh, qu Good. Quite a few things in common. Indeed. OK, well, let's see if you've got uh, a brilliance with numbers in common. We'll find that out later in the programme. But let's now start with the letters. And, Kate, nine, please. Could I start with a consonant, please, Carol? <laughs> X. Thank you. <laughs> uh, vowel. O. Consonant. Another consonant. B. Consonant. D. Vowel. I. Consonant. M. Consonant. G. Vowel. E. And another vowel, please. Another vowel, thank you. And A. Thank you. Yes, there we are, and here we go. Six, good, Chris. It's five. Five, five, Chris is. Oxide. Oxide, oxide. Now here's a six. Imaged. 
imaged. Well, is that okay, imaged? Well, yeah. That's fine. Good? Yeah, very good. Martin? Yes, um, Susie won't allow me box made for seven, so that's no good. But uh, bodega, bodega, which is, a, I think, some sort of a Spanish thing, isn't it? That's right. It's a shop selling wine or food, um, especially in Spain. That's uh, six. Bodega. Yeah. But here we are, OK, with imaged is uh, our winner here. So well done to you, Kate. Off the mark there with a six. And now, uh, Chris, it's you. Consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Chris. This time we start with H. Another. R. And another. Another one. G. A vowel, please. O. Another vowel. A. Another, please. Another vowel. E. Consonant. N. Another consonant. G. Another consonant, please. Another consonant. Thank you. And W. Right, so that's Chris's first selection, and the countdown on that starts now. Six. Six. Now then, Kate. Eight. Eight. Well, we'll hear the six then from Chris. Hanger. Anger. Hanger. Hanger. H. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Eight with, a, with an H. Hanger with an H now, which is good, but it's an eight. Wagoner. Wagoner. We'll just to spell it out. W-A-G-G-O-N-E-R. Well, you're correct, I think. It's absolutely fine. You it's can have one G, but you can also right. have two. You can have two Gs and Wagoners. Two Gs. Look at it in all its glory for eight points. There it is. Very good. <laughs> Good. Wagoner. Hold Wagoner's Walk. The only, about the only radio drama you weren't in, I think, Martin, wasn't it? Or oh, perhaps you were in it. No, I, I wasn't in Wagoner's Walk, but it was very successful for many years, wasn't it? But it wasn't as good as Mrs. Dale's Diary, was it? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm worried about Chris. Uh, not Jim, I'm worried about Chris, because he has yet to score. Uh, 14 to Kate, uh, 0 to Chris, and round 3 to you, Kate. A consonant, please, Carol. Thank you. V. Another consonant. C. A vowel. And a vowel. A. Another vowel. U. A consonant. Y. Another consonant. Another consonant. R. A vowel. O. Another vowel. A. And a consonant, please. And M. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Round three starts now. This time, Kate. Just a five. A five. Now then, Chris. Five. You've got a five. Which is yours, Chris? Aroma. Aroma. A aroma for five. Yours? Curvy. And curvy. C U R V Y. Yes, we we find it just as difficult. Ovary, we could offer, but uh, it's a hard five. one. Five. Yeah. It's difficult. Yeah. So no advance on five there. Aroma right. is uh, on the board there, and uh, there was curvy. And uh, ovary, you said, Martin, did you? O-V-A-R-Y. Yes, over it. Only so, five. But no advance on five. All right, so, well, you're off the mark, Chris. Good. Five to you, 19 to you, Kate. And Chris's numbers, please. One from the top, please, Carol. Any other five? Thank you very much. Right. We have, for the first numbers game, six and nine. Eight and two. Seven and fifty. Nice spread there. And the target is 430. Yes, thanks, Carol. We want 430, and the countdown for that starts now.
looking at 430, Chris. Yep, 430. Thought so, Kate? 430. Okay, well, Kate, you girls go first. So you're a new girl. 50 multiplied by 8 to give 400. 50 multiplied by 8 is 400. 7 minus the 2 to give 5. Yes, it does. Multiplied by 6 gives 30. the 30. Add together. Yeah, 430. Thank you. Good. And you, Chris? Um, slightly different. 50 minus 7 is 43. Oh, right. It's 43. 8 plus 2 is 10. 8 plus 2 is 10. That's Multiply. very nice. Multiply the two together. Two completely different methods there. Four Good. Okay. 10 points to both. Well done to Kate and Chris. Well done. Good. So, very nice scores then. Uh, good start for Kate there on 29. And uh, Chris has now got some uh, double figures on his board. He's 15. So, a breather for them. We'll hand over to Martin. Yes, well, words... Uh can mislead us. If I read this in a certain way, it seems to be nonsense, doesn't it? I saw a peacock with a fiery tail. I saw a blazing comet drop down hail. I saw a cloud with ivy curled round. I saw a sturdy oak creep on the ground. I saw a mire swallow up a whale. I saw a raging sea brim full of ale. I saw Venice glass 16 foot deep. I saw a well full of men's tears that weep. I saw their eyes all in a flame of fire. I saw a house as big as the moon and higher. I saw the sun even in the midst of night. I saw the man that saw this wondrous sight. But if I read it like this, maybe it makes sense. I saw a peacock. With a fiery tail, I saw a blazing comet. Drop down hail, I saw a cloud. With ivy curled round, I saw a sturdy oak. Creep on the ground, I saw mire. Swallow up a whale, I saw a raging sea. Brim full of ale, I saw a Venice glass. Sixteen foot deep, I saw a well. Full of men's tears that weep, I saw their eyes. Or in a flame of fire, I saw a house. As big as the moon and higher, I saw the sun. Even in the midst of night, I saw the man that saw this wondrous sight. And that was written by Anon in the 17th century. <laughs> He wrote a lot of stuff, that Anon, didn't he? He was very prolific, very wasn't prolific. he? Mm. What can I say? You expect me to say it. We're going now, but we shall be back. Anon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. They're back with us again. And a uh, good first half for our challenger, Kate uh, Leckie, there. As you can see, she's on uh, 29 and 15 points there for Chris. So we've got five rounds to go, so obviously it's still wide open. So, Chris, champion Chris, off you go. Constant, please. C. And another. N. And another. Another one. R. And a fourth. Come out of the box. C. Vowel, please. Sticky today. E. And another vowel. Another one. O. And another vowel. E. Consonant, please. L. And another consonant. And another. Thank you, Chris. Huh, huh. Z. <laughs> well, had to come sometime. There it is. Here we go. Round five. Chris. Just five. Five. Kate? A risky six. Risky six. Well, we'll hear the, the, hear the say five. Clone. Yes, clone. What have you got for your risky six? Rezone. R-E-Z-O-N-E. No, it was worth trying. I'm afraid it's mm. not in there, though. Mm. Thank you. Bad luck. Can't have a cloner, can you? One of those horrible agent nouns. Um, no. No. <laughs> Best say not. Yes, Creole. Encore. Yeah. And possibly Crenel, which Susie came up with. She would know that word, Crenel, because I think it means a dent, doesn't it, Susie? It does. It means a dent in the parapet. <laughs> Still only six. <laughs> what, a Crenel? Yeah. Crenel. Crenelate. Good. 
Well, we got we staggered to a six there in Dictionary Corner, but uh, we have limited to a five here, so you've got your five points there. Uh, so you're on 20, 20 and 29, the gap's narrowing. Kate, round six. A consonant, please, Carol. A consonant, yes, thank please. you, Kate. T. And another. Another one. R. And a vowel. A. Another vowel. E. A consonant. T. A vowel. I. Um, a consonant. H. Another consonant. D. And I'll finish with a vowel, please. And a vowel. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. And E. Thank you very much indeed. Let's start the clock now. Yes, now, Kate. Seven. Seven. Looks good. Chris? Six. Just six. What is it, Chris? Thread. Thread. Yes, thread for six. Now, seven. Treated. Treated. No problem with that, is there, Martin? There's no problem with that. Good. I'm only going to say this once. I shan't reiterate it. But uh, you can have iterated for eight. And what does iterate mean, Susie? It means to state something again and again, repeatedly. Uh, but you got, um, Kate, what did you get? Treated. Treated, yes. Treated there. And you've got 36. So, three rounds to go, ladies and gentlemen, and Chris's letters game. Consonant, please. Thank you, Chris. S. Another one. P. A vowel, please. A. Another vowel. Another vowel. U. And another vowel. And O. Consonant, please. J. Another consonant. Another one. N. And another, please. N. And a vowel. And a vowel. Thank you. And E. Yes, so there we are. For the final time, the letters are on the board, so let's stop the clock. Just five. Five again. You like your fives today. Kate? Six. Six. Right. Um, five, please. Pains. Pains. P-A-N-E-S. Yes, pains. You look a bit anxious about this six, Kate. Unopen. Big one. Unopen. Unopen. Well, depends whether it's there as a verb and not an adjective. Oh, bad luck, Kate, again. No, it's not it? there. It's not bad there luck. Thank you. I'm sorry. Un only unopened. Really? Mm -hmm. Only unopened, yeah. but not unopened. What a shame. Yeah. We were there is a state. prepared to give you peons of praise over that. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. Yes. P A E O N S. Yes. Yep. All right. Well, that's meant that after that means that you stay on 36, Kate. And Chris, you get your five points <laughs> creeping up here with these fives gradually. 36 and 25, 20 points available. So now let's go to the numbers and ask Kate to choose her six numbers, please. One. From the top, Carol, please. Oh, one from the top, right? Uh, and any other five. And five small numbers. One, two, three, four, and five, thank you. The numbers then are three and ten, nine and two, seven and the biggie, 100. Haven't seen that one for quite some time. And the target's small, 253. So let's see if we can stagger to that. 253 and the time starts now.
253, Kate. 249. Well, that's four away. Now then, Chris. 253, I think. Right, all right. Well, let's have a go. Have a go. 253. Um, two times 100 is 200. Two times 100, yes, is 200. Nine times seven is 63. It is indeed. Add that on. Yeah. Minus the 10. Yep, it's 253. Yeah, and 10 points. Well done. Well, what does this mean? I'll tell you what it means. Kate, you're on 36. Which, <laughs> Chris, you're on 35. <laughs> so this is a crucial conundrum. He's made up a lot of ground, as Chris. So it's 36 and 35. It's a terrible moment for you both, but uh, quite enjoyable for the other few million of us who are watching. So if you're both ready, please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. Oh, and the buzz of Chris on one second says... Tradition? It's not. The rest of the time to you, Kate. Not tradition, let's see what it is. Radiation. Oh. Radiation. Radiation, it is. Tradition, of course, has Chocolate two Ts. Is. Well, well, you know what that means. 36 to Kate, 35 to Chris. Skin of the teeth, but it was a good game. And a new champion, Kate Lecky. I missed a nasty moment on one second when he pressed his buzzer. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, we'll let you uh, recover over the weekend. Congratulations. A very, very good game and uh, well, well deserved win. 36 points, 35. So we'll say farewell to you till Monday. Chris, we will say also farewell to you, a marvellous week, as we said. But I can tell you now that um, as a result of your performances, and of course, the quarter finals do start next Thursday, and you will be in those quarter finals as number, as we now stand, number eight seed. So we'll be seeing you again. Well done, Chris. Uh, the goodie bag, of course, for the big victories for you. Farewell till next week. Chris Colesman. <laughs> well, Glyn, the conundrum had them stumped. Did you get it? I did get it, yes. You it took did? me a while. Well, not longer than 30 seconds, I hope. No. <laughs> well, that's, that's the main thing. OK, Glyn, we'll see you on Monday. Uh, see you on Monday, Martin. Indeed we shall. Susie. Bye-bye. And see you on Monday, Carol. And we'll see all of you on Monday, we very much hope. Till then, goodbye.